What is going on Go Produce Squad? I got a question for Josh. Now the people want to know, what was the transition like from being a songwriter and essentially an artist into becoming an entrepreneur responsible for creating a very successful music app? Now is there an overlap between the two? And are there specific skills that you developed when being a songwriter that you were able to carry over and use as an entrepreneur in the music app scene. Looking forward to the answer. That was Josh. Boom. Or for Josh, yes. That was for Josh. Yes. I'm Josh. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's I get asked that all the time. I think that the two are very similar. Uh, a songwriting is problem solving, I think, at its heart. It's what chord should come next and and what hook sounds better here and which producer should I work with and, and which EQ should I, which part of the EQ should I turn up there on? Should I scoop out the middle of it? So there's all these questions and answers and, and it's all quite, in some ways, quite mathematical. Um, I didn't view it like, I don't view it like that, by the way. Like when I'm writing a song, I'm just in the, right. in the energy I'm trying to capture a, a sort of a vibe, but um, it is still problem solving. And so when I started running the company and I, I was just kind of touched on this earlier when I said, you know, you asked me how did I put the team together and I, I asked a question and then I met someone and then he told me to go meet so-and-so. Like it's the same thing and business is no different. You're, you're presented with a series of options. Um, it's, your, it's your job as the CEO to make the right decisions or the best decisions that you can with the options that you have. Um, and those options might be you've got 150 grand for the rest of the year, uh, but there's seven months in the year. You've got to work out how you can split that up. And so then your option is to I've got to create a spreadsheet and I've got to work out how that all breaks down. And then I've got to consider tax implications and, and rah, rah, rah. Um, and of course that gets much more complex, especially we've, we're sort of six years deep. We've got subsidiaries in multiple countries. Um, you, you know, we have thousands of shareholders. Uh, every skill set that I do is completely unrelated to the next. Um, <laughs> and it's yeah. crazy. But, but it is still similar to being an artist in some ways because being an artist is like running a small business. 100%. You've got, you've got your lighting guy, your sound guy, <laughs> you're dealing with, you know, promoters, venues, merch people, graphic designers doing your artwork, uh, you're choosing masters, you're making all these decisions that are going to affect your product that you're selling um, and you are your product. Yep, absolutely. So there's great like, crossover, yeah. Like, to quote Sean Carter, um, I'm not a businessman. I'm a businessman. 